today's video is sponsored by Simply Safe. There's no safe like Simply Safe. Hi guys, we are back at the thrift store. Today, guys, we are doing another one of my thrift flip videos, and then we're going to see if we can sell the pieces on Facebook Marketplace to make a little bit of money. And I really feel like these videos are great because I'm sharing with you guys a bunch of different DIY techniques. We're flipping some furniture. There's some fun before and afters. We might be able to make some money. It's gonna be a good time. So let's go into the thrift store, see what we can find. I'd like to find like three or four items that we can flip. We're gonna go into the boutique section first. This area is normally a little bit more expensive, but sometimes they have some really nice finds. Oh, look at how cute these are. Shell cover candle holders. Add more shells so they're like fully encrusted. I think that shell encrusted pieces are gonna start trending soon. I've been seeing them a lot lately from designers. You can kind of see like all the glue that's seeped and I love the idea though. That was a quick find. Oopsies, guess we're gonna be fixing that anyways. Let's see if there's any good furniture around. Normally in this area, I will say the pieces are more so kind of completed. There's another area, ooh, look at this big hutch. Special, $2.99. These are cute. Love these handles. All single kitchen tables, coffee tables and end tables, 50% off and single chairs, 50% off. Color is so good. $39. If we got this stripped down, it could probably be like $2.99. Like the handle's It awful. makes no oh sense. Gosh. Even if we just did like a little wooden handle yeah, or something. Yeah, that's what it should be. Cute back here too, I like this. Mm -hmm. I love the round legs too. I've never seen a perfectly round like double leg. It's really cute shape. I think we're gonna take this. I wonder if this is considered on sale. This would be so cute. It's definitely plywood, so it's. We have to get this. Yeah, it's cool. This is so good. They still have the apple one, Justin. Remember this one? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we love the arms. The, apple. the arms on this one are so good, but the apple is so bad. This chair is honestly kind of serving up here. This off. one's cute. It only $7. Drew. Yes? I follow you. Oh, thanks. You give me so much inspiration. Oh, thank you so much. Wait, 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 wait. Let me through. What is this? What is this? This is so cute. The color on the pine too is so nice. It's like an aged pine, so this is definitely older. An older chair. It's definitely like a handmade chair, I think. This would be 45 and then 50% off. Last time our lamps were our best sellers, and I mentioned that lamps, pairs of lamps are never on Facebook Marketplace. I mean, I wish we could do something additional to that. I love this though, it's really pretty. I think we just need to give it like a good cleaning. One of our items was only $1.99 because it was a white tag. Furniture, $1.99 for our little wood chair. All right, we're getting everything loaded up. Kind of cute together, actually. It's definitely made of plywood, but it's really structurally sound, which is great for what we're going to be doing with it. And of course, whenever I leave my house, I'm always turning on my Simply Safe. With summer being right around the corner, it is the perfect time to add a home security system to your house because I'm sure you're gonna be out and about quite a bit more than usual. Simply Safe is absolutely the home security system for you because it is such a no-brainer home security system that seamlessly blends in with your decor, which we all love. Within like an hour, I had my entire home fully set up with Simply Safe. Every single door and every window was completely alarmed up with sensors and cameras for absolutely every corner of your house, including smoke detectors entry alarms, HD cameras for both indoor and outdoor. There's just absolutely everything to make sure that your home is fully 360 protected. And now that I'm a homeowner, I definitely like to keep an eye on my property or my house when I'm away. So I love being able to check on the camera. I can also see Winston on there. And with Simply Safe's exclusive 24 seven live guard protection and smart alarm indoor cameras, you can actually have a Simply Safe expert agent act within five seconds of receiving an alarm signal, rapidly assessing the situation and taking immediate steps to ensure your family's safety. And thankfully over the years, I haven't had any problems 
problems at all. However, I know that Simply Safe has my back if I do have an issue. So if you're in the market, definitely check out Simply Safe using my link. It is simplysafecom slash alonefox to customize your own and save 20% off your security system when you tap that link. Because there's really no safe like Simply Safe. I'm at the fabric store this morning because I want to pick up some fabric for that chair that we got. I think I want to go with something a little bit more on the safe side, but still something really nice. So we're going to see what we find. I'm at FNS Fabrics. Ask for Jamie when you come here. It's the best fabric store in Los Angeles. I'm sure they'll give you a great deal too. So let's head on. I definitely need to use this for something in the future. Love that. I found the fabric I want to do. Is this? One here, it kind of has like a tapestry look to it, but this fabric's always sold out. Oh, strut, strut, oh, strut. strut, strut. strut. <laughs> we were talking about how stunning this fabric is. It is so stunning. And that it's always sold out. It is, we just got it back in recently. Oh, Hi, babe. No. Look how pretty this is, you guys, for the chair. And then when you come, you have to ask for Jamie. Jamie will help you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Since the fabric store is kind of a drive, I also want to pick up fabric for some vintage that I'm going to be reupholstering. I think this. It's gonna be perfect on a sofa. It's a butter chenille. I'm gonna get 16 yards of this one as well. Bringing in our first piece. Okay, here she is. I love this cabinet. It's super functional. It has a really large storage area down here. It tucks away into a corner. We got it for $59. I think I want to go ahead and make this look more like wood because even if I was to strip this off, it's actually made of plywood, the entire piece. It's not made of any form of nice strippable wood. Like you wouldn't want to see this underneath. I'm actually going to paint it to kind of look like wood, similar to the hutch that I created in my bedroom. And I think that's going to give it a complete new look. I want to touch up the hinges. They have these silver screws and then also add some new hardware. So I definitely have my work cut out for this one. But the great thing is, is that I actually have and own like all the supplies I need. I have a bunch of paint that I can use for this. I definitely have a singular knob I can use as well. So we're not going to need to purchase anything in addition. Let's go look for a color for the inside. Welcome to the lower kitchen where I have an assortment of paints that are also... Oh, why do all the cabinets open the same way? They all open this way. This one's actually... Look how fearful that is. Oh. <laughs> And we use that to paint the entire piece upstairs. Really? Yes, that's our paint. This is Marie's ceiling color, which I believe is coffee and cream from Sherwin-Williams or something of the sort. And I think this will be good because it's pretty neutral. I'm gonna grab this railings color too because I wanna add a little bit of this to our chalk paint to cool it down a little. Okay, you can leave it there, thank you. My first step on making over this cabinet is actually going to be painting the interior with two coats of paint. So I'm going to be using the sugar and cream or coffee and cream color by Sherwin-Williams. I'll put the proper name on the screen. And once that is done or I added the first coat, I'm going to be mixing my exterior paint color, which is antiquarian brown and a chalk paint. And I'm adding in some of this color here called railings. This is actually the color that I painted the stripes in my bedroom. And I just wanted to cool down that orange tone a bit and that navy color really did just that. It kind of brought it to this really pretty caramel brown. I thought this would just be a nice color for the exterior of our cabinet. And I also painted the interior a second coat. Let's go ahead and work on our lamp project. So I think when we were in the thrift store, I actually mentioned that I was going to do different shades. But on second inspection, these shades are actually really pretty. And the thing I don't love is the top and bottom trim. And so I had this idea to kind of turn them into these like pleated tuxedo style shades, which I think would look really cool because I've been loving the look of just like piping or a black detail a line. I actually have the same exact trim. Justin used this recently on a project. So he has an extra and it is kind of the same exact braided trim that's on here. And I'm going to lay this over the top. It's gonna add kind of a sophisticated touch, but I also feel like it's gonna look so chic. I love the black, and I also, I'm gonna get in for a close up. I love the layered trim too, how it kind of, you can see the one behind peeking through. And the lampshades themselves are actually really nice. There's just like a tiny little stain on one side or on maybe like two sides, but you can always flip that to the back. So I'm gonna start and stop actually where they started and stopped this one, which was on this edge. The nice thing too is that lampshades are kind of expensive. So I'm happy I'm reusing these because at first I was gonna try to do a different shade. I love the way that the trim on the top looks. So let's do the bottom. Winston decided 
decided to choose bone right here, but here is what that lampshade looks like. And I think this looks so good. So I'm gonna go ahead and create the next. This is what our corner cabinet is looking like. And it is time to now go in and give this more of an authentic wood look and feel. Now I'm kind of hoping that this turns out, there's just an as it needs to because it just does. Like, here's the product I'm gonna use, it's called Brie Wax. I've been loving this because it's actually used to like restore old furniture. I used it in the last video to use on those East Lake dressers. Ooh, it looks kinda hard. Oh, nope, she's liquidy. If you could see, it's kinda like a gel-like material. Does that look like wood? I mean, you can't tell it yet. Go in with the brush and you just kind of go over the same. Picks it up. Creates like a wood grain effect almost. Once it dries down, you can go over the same spot and it will kind of pick it up a little bit. brush I'm using here is a coarser hair brush which actually definitely allows the product to kind of be a little more streaky and emulate the look of a wood grain so this is super easy and very very forgiving you can go back over an area multiple times you can clean an area off if you want to and once this cures down it finishes off into like a nice rock hard finish and I just love this product I've created so many wood finish looks with it and it always turns out great and it comes in a bunch of different colors too so I stippled a little extra on around on the edges and just to give it a little more of a naturally patinaed look as if it was actually used and along the edges as well. Hello! It is time to start working on our desk, which I am so excited to remove that handle. But something I'm also excited about is using a new product for stripping. This is actually from a website called Stripwell, and Justin used this. He recommended it. He says it's so much better than the stripper that you get from the store because basically you spray this on and it eats away at the finish, but it doesn't get sticky. It doesn't get gross. So when you're scraping it, it's not like gross and sticky like a normal stripper. It has no dangerous chemicals, no harmful odors, perfect for indoor use. You do have to order this on their website. Um, and this was $50, but I'm hoping I can get a bunch of project uses out of this. So when I'm factoring it into the cost, I'm not going to factor the full 50. So we'll see how much we use. Is that like a little music note? I actually kind of like that. Oh, that's what it will look like when it starts. Oh yeah. That's a good, like, kind of like raw wood look. Directions say after 15 minutes, you apply a heavy coat, so that's what I'm doing now. Now, I will say, as someone who does not like stripping furniture very much, this worked very well, and I love this stripper. It definitely is going to be a new one for me to use. This is not sponsored by them at all either. Justin actually did a bunch of research when he was stripping a bed that he made for his place, and this was a stripper that he came across and loved. So we ended up stripping down the entire desk using the stripper, and you just spray it. Whenever you feel like it's not coming off, you just rehydrate the surface, and it just takes all the finish right off. And Justin actually took over for me a little bit while we were working on this desk. I will tell you guys right now that I really try my hardest to work solely on the projects in this series because Justin always helps me with any room makeover, any other project we always do, but I will say I really want it to come from a single person perspective of buying a piece, flipping it, and making it over and selling it, and seeing if it actually is worth your time and effort, you know? So, but I had to get a haircut, so he took over for an hour, which I was not mad about. Alrighty, that top lacquer and whatever else 
else was on that is pretty much stripped off and it's looking so much better so far. It's just a little bit more of a raw primitive style of wood that I just love and I think this looks so beautiful. I think this also could be great as a desk. It could be an entry console or if you put a mirror above it, it would be a, such a cute vanity. We're gonna bring this out to the lawn and give it a wash. It's the next day and can you tell how much lighter and like just more appealing this finish is. Now the only thing I want to do to finish it off is just give it a little bit of furniture wax just to kind of re-nourish the wood a little bit. It's kind of stripped at the moment and I think this will be a perfect piece to mark it as like a little desk or an entry console piece. We are about to start putting my college degree to the test because I graduated with a fashion degree for sewing and we have to sew a cushion. So we'll see exactly how this goes because I haven't sewed anything that's like kind of more on the tailored side in a long time. I basically ordered a couple pieces of foam cushioning that you can just get this on Amazon. I'll link the ones I got below. I tried to find the most affordable, but this one's actually super nice. It's really squishy, but it's also dense. I am so excited about our fabric. I already shared this with you at the fabric store, of course, but this is the stunning fabric and i don't know if you can see it has like weaving and it actually kind of resembles a tapestry quite a bit and i got three yards so splurged a little bit on the fabric because the chair ended up only costing us a dollar 99. it's 22 by 22 so essentially i need two pieces that are going to be 23 by 23 and i'm going to give myself a half inch of seam allowance and then we're going to have a side piece as well so the height of our cushion is four inches so i want to add an inch to that so five inches for the height. And I'm also gonna be adding a zipper to one side. So I'm gonna create one long strip that's actually gonna go from one, two, three sides. It's gonna wrap around all three, so you're not gonna see a seam on these edges here. And then on the back, we're gonna have one additional panel that we could sew the zipper into, if that makes sense. For the back cushion, it's actually a little bit smaller than the other one. So I'm actually gonna have to cut this one down just a bit. And I'm just gonna draw a line. So this essentially is the shape of our seat. This is actually my first ever seat cushion I am ever sewing, so I've never had experience with this before. I started off by laying down my cushion on the fabric and then cutting it out with a half inch seam allowance just on the outside of the line that I drew. I just figured that was the easiest way to do it. And then once you have two squares, those are gonna be the top and bottom of your cushion. I then went ahead and along the straight edge, I just marked five inches out, as you can see here. And it's five inches wide because our cushion is four inches tall, plus we're adding an inch, so there's half of an inch of seam allowance on either side. On the panel that I'm going to be sewing my zipper on, I'm going to cut that one in half and then I'm just going to be using an iron to iron over a quarter inch and this is just going to make it so much easier once you go to sew the zipper. So I'm just pressing down that quarter inch of fabric and then I'm placing it along the edge of my zipper tape there and just using some pins to secure this down along the entire zipper tape and then I'm going to transfer this over to my sewing machine and just sew a line on the left and the right side side of that zipper as close as you can get it to the zipper. That's pretty much all there is to sewing a zipper into a piece of fabric. And to connect it all up, you are always going to sew with the right sides of your fabric together, meaning the sides you want out, you're gonna sew them together. So the patterns are going to face each other and I'm gonna pin around one panel that goes along all three sides. And then I'm also going to pin on my zipper panel as well. And I'm going to start sewing those together. Here you can see I'm sewing along the square shape and then when I get to the corner, I'm just going to turn and go along that edge. I'm not gonna lie, you guys, this thing just took me like two and a half hours to sew the first cushion. Oh, way longer than I thought. And I don't even know if I did it right. I mean, it looks like kind of like box shaped, right? I don't know if this is gonna fit in here. It's giving not fitting. Look at my finished cushion. Do you guys see this? Would you pay a lot for this? This is a Lone Fox Home custom cush. All right, so that took me a while and now it's time to do it all over again for the top cushion.
It's been a couple hours and I just finished up the second back cushion and I put the chair together, you guys, and it looks so good. I am so excited to flip this around and share it with you. Here is a look at how the chair ended up. I think it looks so good. I love the cushions, the trees also, like the alignment of them look really nice. And I'm very happy that I sewed my first ever cushion. I think it looks pretty good. There's only one pucker right here on the top left corner, but I don't think it's like anything crazy. Thankfully, I also have a pattern fabric, so that kind of attributes to hiding it a little bit. And the fabric really is so pretty. It's such a nice like tapestry feeling and looking fabric. I also had about a yard of fabric left, so I only used two yards on this, making the total cost be $55 in fabric, then my cushions, and the $1.99 I spent on the chair frame. If you've made it this far, it is time to photograph our final projects. I finished all of them. I do still have to add the handle on the corner cabinet. So we're going to start off first with our chair, which look at how nice this looks and like a little bit of sun on it even don't forget to grab like a 10 second video showing your piece because the algorithm prefers video on facebook marketplace plus it is just a great way to really show the piece itself so you don't have anyone questioning when they come to buy it if it looks any different it just gives a little bit more of a real life look at the piece It is Saturday and yesterday around noon, so Friday around noon, I posted my items on Facebook Marketplace. And I don't know if there's like a specific day slash time that is like a more convenient time to post, um, but that's when I posted. I think I'm gonna go through them in the order that I actually listed them on Marketplace. So the first item that I listed was the Primitive Pine Writing Desk slash Console Table. And I added, of course, some photos to the listing. I listed this for 250 and before I was even able to get my second item posted, it was already sold. That is how quick the Primitive Pine Desk sold. I actually had a lady message on it, probably within two minutes of me posting the listing, and she already had a deposit sent to me within five minutes. And she's a Lone Fox family member too, which she found out after the fact. We actually ended up exchanging numbers, and she had a similar zip code to me, so we started talking about where we're from. And then I was like, oh my gosh, my Instagram's Lone Fox. And she was like, oh my gosh, I actually have seen some of her videos before. So she is going to be picking up the Pine Desk next week. She actually pops into LA every few weeks for her work, and so she asked if I can hold it for her and she put down a deposit on it. But on second thought, I wonder if we maybe could have listed it just a little higher and maybe got a little more out of it. But definitely not mad about selling it for $250. The cost of the desk was $39 and then I also ended up purchasing the stripper. I feel like we can say that I used about $18 worth of the stripping product on the desk. So we're at $39 plus $18 and then I already had the hardware for it. So that was really all I spent on this piece and we ended up selling it for $250. Second item I listed, which this was the one I was most excited Excited to list was actually the corner cabinet. I just think the photos turned out so pretty. And I will tell you guys, I got responses. Response after response after response on the corner cabinet. Like I was getting so many DMs on this corner cabinet. I don't know if it like made its way to the homepage quickly or something. It actually did go through about 10 different people though because I was sending the message and then waiting like five or so minutes to see if they would confirm. And then if it wasn't confirming, I was going to the next person because there were so many messages. I was trying to just get like a confirmation. So I didn't have to message or like open any more of them, but it actually did end up selling for the full listing price of. $3.95. Crazy thing is I was able to mark this pending pretty quick because the lady that ended up purchasing it, she also sent me a deposit. She actually drove up all the way from San Diego to Los Angeles to pick up this piece. She picked it up today. Oh, here it is, going to its new home. 
corner cabinet. We made it fit. <laughs> Yay. After I marked it as pending, I actually got some messages. Like, I literally have one at the top of my thing right now. I know this item is pending, but any chance that it falls through, I'll be willing to pay $450. So, I had people messaging that were wanting to pay more for this piece than I had listed it for. And I kind of was thinking at first of listing it for $495, but Justin was like, I think you should do $395. I think it will be like a quicker sell. And I agreed. So, we did list it at that price, and it sold at $395. And I'm very happy about that. Third piece I listed was our pine and and tapestry reupholstered chair. And this is the first time I've ever reupholstered a chair, so I made sure to put in the description to let people know that I reupholstered it myself. That when the lady came and picked it up today because it did sell at full asking price, but I will say I only actually got one message on the chair. And the lady who messaged me on the chair immediately was like, I would love to purchase this. Can I pick it up tomorrow? And came today, I believe with her boyfriend or husband, they picked it up. She loved the chair. I got a video of them actually leaving with it. Oh my gosh, my item sold you guys and she's a lone fox follower too oh, oh, i'm so no excited <laughs> look it's off to its new home I not believe we got the chair base for only a dollar 99 but i only used two yards so i think we can kind of budget it maybe down to 45 for the fabric and for the foam on the inside i spent about 18 dollars per cushion and the zippers were two dollars per so we can basically say each cushion was about 20 dollars with the foam and the zipper so we spent about 90 dollars on this chair and it sold at full listing price of 375 and I feel like this was actually like a really reasonable and I feel like this was that and I feel like the listing price I did on this was definitely like a little bit more towards the higher end of what I could charge but the lady loved it so much she was willing to pay it and I too think that it was a good deal for an accent chair you know finding something similar like that online probably would have cost you around 600 700 dollars I know anthropology also sells a similar one and our last item which actually has not sold yet is the pair of tuxedo striped lamps so if you're in the Los Angeles area and you liked those lamps, definitely search for them on Facebook Marketplace. But I did list them for $200. I might bring that price down just a bit. I actually didn't really have to purchase anything because Justin let me use his extra trim from his project. I used some hot glue and that was really all to transform these lamps. But these ones haven't sold yet. And I will say that I feel like glass and also pleats and kind of ruffles and stuff are definitely for a specific customer. They don't go with as many interior styles, maybe as the wicker ones in my last video do. I'll go ahead and pop up our grand total from the three items sold on the screen right here. And I wanna thank you all so much for watching this video. Definitely give it a big thumbs up if you wanna see more of this series on the channel. This is definitely, I will say, more of a time consuming video to make and create, but I just feel like it's such a fulfilling and fun video to do. So if you like more of them, please give a thumbs up and leave a comment below letting me know that you love this kind of content. And I will catch you all in my next one. Be sure to follow me over on the short form platforms. And we can have fun over there too. I'll catch you guys all in my next one. Bye.